good morning and welcome back to the next class of theory of computation in this class we are going to look at a few more example on ambiguity in context free graph consider the following grammar with the production rule as s derives to a s b and s derives to a b which is used to generate the language l of g equals to a power n b power n such that n is greater than equals to 1 so to check whether the given grammar is ambiguous or not we need to find a string that can be derived by using two different pass tree or two different leftmost derivation if we are not able to find a word or a string in the grammar that can be obtained in two different ways by two different pass tree or two different leftmost derivation then we say that the grammar is unambiguous so consider the following string in the grammar as a a a b b b right so this can be derived by using the given set of production rule in the following fashion consider s to be the root node of the tree and the string should start with a so we use the first production rule as there are multiple a's so we use the rule s derives to a s b now we want there should be three a's so this leftmost s in the second level is to be replaced again by a s b and again now we want that there should be last a that is third a and then there should be three consecutive b so whenever we want to stop we would be using the second production rule a b right so the last s over here would be now replaced by a b so in this fashion the pass tree would be generating a a a b b b it matches to the given string similarly if there are there are n number of a's followed by n number of b's then the same thing can be derived in the following fashion as s is the root node it would derive to a s b again we want there should be n a's so this s would again be replaced by a s b and this would continue up to n minus 1 times and after that in the last s we, it would be replaced by a b so in this fashion it would generate a string of n a's followed by n b's so every time deriving a string with n a's followed by n b's it would be using only this particular type of a parse tree so it would be fixed for a particular string or there is no other production rule that can be used instead of this expansion to derive the same string so all the string will have a unique parse tree a single parse tree that would be deriving to that particular string thus we say that the given grammar is an ambiguous grammar consider another example of the following set of production rules are given s derives to a s a s derives to b s b and s derives to c which generates a language l of g s w c w r such that w belongs to a b closure and w r is reverse of w right so consider the string a b c b a so here w is a b w r is b a that is reverse of w and c is a separator right so this string can be generated by using the given set of production rule in this following fashion like we want the string to start with a so we would be using the first production rule so s would derive to a s a and then after the first a there should be b and again at the end there should be a b before the last a so this s can now be replaced by this production rule that is second production rule so s would be replaced as a b s b now the string is matching to the first a b and the last b a now lastly this s would be replaced by c so it would generate a string a b c b a which matches to the given string so this is the only way to derive this particular string using the given set of production rule there is no alternative to derive this same string in this fashion so we again say that this given grammar is an ambiguous grammar consider another example on ambiguity in context free grammar consider the following grammar with production rules e derives to e plus e e derives to e star e e derives to id and 
आई टी डिराइव टू ए बी और सी राइट सो कंसिडर द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ द ग्रामर एज ए प्लस बी स्टार सी दिस स्ट्रिंग कैन बी डिराइव बाय द गिवन प्रोडक्शन रूल्स एज फॉलोज ई डिराइव टू ई प्लस ई तो द फर्स्ट ई इज टू बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय ए एज वी वॉन्ट प्लस आफ्टर दिस एंड देन बी सो द फर्स्ट ई वुड बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय आई डी एंड देन आई डी वुड बी ए राइट देन ए प्लस वी वॉन्ट हियर बी स्टार सी सो द प्रोडक्शन रूल डेट वुड डिराइव बी स्टार सी सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू रिप्लेस दिस ई विथ ई स्टार ई सो वी यूज द प्रोडक्शन ई डिराइव टू ई स्टार ई नाउ दिस ई इज टू बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय आई डी विच वुड बी नाउ बी सो ई डिराइव टू आई डी आई डी इज बी ओवर हियर सो वी हैव ऑप्टेन द पार्ट ए प्लस बी ऑफ द गिवन स्ट्रिंग ए प्लस बी स्टार दिस इज ऑप्टेन नाउ लास्टली वी वॉन्ट सी सो दिस ई वुड अगेन बी रिप्लेस बाय आई डी विच वुड बी सी सो नाउ वी हैव डिराइव द स्ट्रिंग ए प्लस बी स्टार सी फ्रॉम द गिवन सेट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन रूल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फैशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पास ट्री पास ट्री वन विच इज डिराइविंग टू द स्ट्रिंग ए प्लस बी स्टार सी द सेम स्ट्रिंग कैन बी डिराइव इन अनादर फैशन एज फॉलोज सो वी स्टार्ट विथ द सेकेंड प्रोडक्शन रूल ओवर ईयर सो ई डिराइव टू ई स्टार ई now before this star we want it should derive to a plus b so we use the first e and replace it with e plus e now the first e would be replaced by id which would represent a and then the second a e would be replaced by another id that would represent c so now we have obtained the string a plus b star lastly we want c so this e would again be replaced by id which would represent a terminal c so we have obtained the string a plus b star c in this second pass tree form right so these are two different pass tree that are deriving to the same string a plus b star c this is because of ambiguity in the given grammar the same string can be derived in two different fashions so the problem of ambiguity is that it creates confusion or it creates confusion in the evaluation like if we consider a to be 2 b to be 3 and c to be 4 then the first pass tree would yield a result of 14 whereas on evaluation of the second pass tree it would yield result as 20 so this is what is confusion due to ambiguity in the given context free grammar which is a problem of ambiguity thus the given grammar is ambiguous grammar as there are two pass tree to derive the same string or there are two left most derivation to derive the same string using the given set of production rules right so what is ambiguous grammar so a language l can be generated by number of grammars right whenever you want to generate a particular language there can be n number of grammar that can be used to generate that particular language and among those grammar some of the grammars can be ambiguous and some may be unambiguous grammar so a particular contextual language can be generated by many grammars as g1 g2 and so on as we have seen right so l is said to be a unambiguous language if there is an unambiguous grammar which is generating that language right and if all the grammar generating l are ambiguous that is there is no unambiguous grammar for generating a language l then the given language l is said to be inherently ambiguous context free language an example of inherently ambiguous grammar is l equals to a power i b power j c power k such that i j k is greater than equal to 1 comma i is equals to j or j equals to k and l equals to a power n b power m c power p d power q such that n m p q is greater than equals to 1 or n equals to p or m equals to q so these are examples of inherently ambiguous grammar in the next class we would be learning about removal of ambiguity in context free grammar